Hello squaddies and welcome back to another episode of Grion Squaddies Entertainment. Well, I'm so glad that you are here today and joining us in this episode. First of all, you may have noticed that we have changed our name from Grion Entertainment to Grion Squaddies. Uh, this was just for you guys to be able to find us easily. Uh, I noticed that most of you are commenting that you'd love for us to change our name to like to just identify ourselves as squaddies for you to easily identify us so yeah well we have changed our name to Grion squaddies entertainment just for you guys we love you so much and we appreciate the continuous support that you've always given us and for the support that you're always showing Megan like it just means everything it just means everything to us today I want you to listen to what Prince Harry had to say before he even left the royal family. And here is a clip of Prince Harry's words. Here is a clip of the exact words that came from Prince Harry's mouth and I want you to listen to it keenly. A reluctant prince. During that period of frustration, did you ever wish that you were the prince? <laughs> I wish that quite a lot, actually. But, you know, it's something I'd love to do and you know, now I've had the chance once, I'm, I suppose I've, I've got quite into it. Um, and at the end of the day, if you join the army, you expect to go on operations. I don't want to sit around at Windsor because um, I just generally don't like England that much. And, you know, it's nice to be away from all the press and the papers and the general shite that they write. Time of my life with my head buried in the sand, you know, thinking, I don't want to be Prince Harry. I don't want this responsibility. I don't want this role. Um, you know, look what's happened to my mother. You know, why, why does this have, have, have to happen to me? Harry even considered a drastic move. Prince Harry got so low that he decided at one point that he might leave the royal family. He's living this life that he's been born into, it's not his choice. Um, and I think he felt at times very cross about that. I want you to listen again to Angela Levin's words. Prince Harry got so low that he decided at one point that he might leave the royal family. Now those were the exact words of Angela Lavigne when Prince Harry said that he would leave the royal family when he got the opportunity. And now why was she blaming it on Meghan again? This is just ridiculous. It's so unbelievable that she would even accuse Meghan of making Prince Harry leave the royal family. Well at this point I'm just thinking that Harry needed the right person to let him out of the misery that he was living in in the royal family. Harry never cared about the titles, he never cared about being called the prince in the UK. All he wanted was a peace of mind. All he wanted was him to just go out and live a peaceful life away from the UK and all the press. Even after marrying Meghan, Prince Harry just wanted them to like accept her for who she was and never care about her race or the color of her skin. They just wanted them to accept her for the way she was and for whom she was. But they never did that. And so they, he just opted out of the royal family. He just opted out and went and lived his life in the United States of America with his wife. Well, I'm just thinking at this point that he just needed the right person to let him out of that life that he was living in in the UK. The carnival of so-called experts like Angela Levine knew, knew that Harry wanted to leave the royal family and why were they blaming this all on Meghan? It's still astonishing as to why they would still blame it on Meghan after hearing for all this while that Prince Harry never wanted the life in the royal family. I'm just thinking that they all knew, all of them knew, the royal experts and the, and the tabloids all knew that R Prince Harry never wanted the life in the UK but they all just pretended not to. They just pretended not to, just for them to blame it on Meghan and say that Meghan is the one who made Prince Harry leave the UK. Someone just asked, Angela Levine knew Harry wanted to leave the royal family, so why was she blaming it on Meghan? Well, she was blaming it on Meghan because she's toxic and she has nothing but hate to keep her warm and pay her mortgage. And someone else said that to hear him and think, he was willing to stay with his wife to support his brother, embrace the role, do good, and all he asked was breathing room and acceptance of her in exchange. They do not deserve him. Well, that's very true. They don't deserve Harry a bit. 
Another person say that, yet still they blame Megan for him leaving. It proves they know the truth, but just want to blame his wife. And he got a response that, I know right? And we know they've seen and heard his video and are aware of other comments he's made about being disenchanted with the whole thing. I'm happy Megan was his way out of, to a better life where their mental health is prized. My, my, am I not glad that Megan just came at the right time to help Prince Harry to get out of that misery and it was a way of spared their mental health, so to say. Harry and Meghan are so happy right now in the US with their two children, Archie and Lily Beth Diana, and I bet they don't want anything to do with the UK no more. Another person said that, you do not understand, these people are very worried about how better and bigger Harry and Meghan are. This is great, they can't stop talking about the best couple in the world. Personally, I haven't really seen a day go by without these people talking about Harry and Meghan doing this, Harry and Meghan said this, Harry and Meghan did this in the past. Now, can they get a break really? It seems that all they are worried about is Harry and Meghan getting bigger and better. They are worried that they are even bigger than they thought they were. And this scares them. It scares them a lot. That's why they want to talk about them daily and just uh, to dim out their light. They think that they'll scare Harry and Meghan away. But they just got it very wrong. They got it all wrong because Harry and Meghan are going nowhere. They are here to stay. And we as the people, we as the Sussex squad, we love them so much. Someone else say that, can't blame him. He was only 12 or 13 when his mom passed away. The most formative years of one's life and an unbearable pain that you're forced to carry throughout your life. His new family has been an inspiration for him to live and learn from the past tragedies. He is blossoming beautifully. I think first of all that the reason for Harry moving out of the UK with his wife was because he just wanted to take care of his wife and didn't want his wife to fall in the hands of the tabloids and he didn't want his wife to like uh, go through the life that his mom went through, right? That's why he just uh, he immediately his, when he saw that they were not going to accept his wife, immediately he realized that this was not the life that he wanted for his wife. He had to move out of the UK and look for a much better life in the US and he found that. And for the tabloids to think that he is coming back to the royal family, no. It's not right. He can't come back to the UK. He has a peaceful life in the US and I bet he's never going to come back to the UK. He loves being in the US. One other person said that I have been following Prince Harry since he was beyond his mother's coffin. I watch him say a lot about living one day. He said that no one wants to be in the United Kingdom. They do it for the country. Well, I even didn't know that being in the UK was that bad, that people don't even want to be there. They ju they're just there because they're doing it for the country. Another person said that, how can the press not have seen Harry's exit coming? They've been warned on multiple occasions that he wanted to leave. The threats and abuse on Meghan and Archie by the media was the last straw. If his title was taken away, I doubt he'd give a hoot. Well, I've said and I'll say it again. Harry doesn't care about the title prince. He said it. He doesn't care about the title. And whether it's stripped away or it's, it just sticks with him, he doesn't really care about it. All he wants is a peace of mind. And all he wants also is to be there with his family and just live happily. Someone else say that, oh my god, Angela Levine had this content all along. If she was a journalist worth her salt, she would put the Harry and Meghan exit story in its proper context. But she could not resist the urge to blame the biracial woman. It's evil, evil, evil. We must call out the evilness in Angela Levine, the racism that is being shown out right now. Angela Levine had all this content all this while and she just kept it for herself. She knew it all along and yet she just pretended not to know and she just still blamed it on Megan for Harry leaving the UK. This is evil and it's truly truly evil. And the last comment that I'm going to read today say that and needless to say I concur. I will only add in the word bloody as in take your bloody titles and shove it. 
they should just take their titles because nobody cares about being titled as the prince like nobody really cares about these titles so they should just take them all people care about is be having peace and being loved right now prince harry is very happy with his wife and his two kids so they do, they do not need anything coming from the royal family or from the uk they're so happy right now and so one thing i'd just love to say is that you know why love will always conquer and uh, and always thrive over hate it's because people who love each other always care about each other and they will always stand there for each other and hate doesn't know anything like that hate just comes to destroy people it makes people uh, look at others in a different way it divides the unity that's there between people and people should always choose love because love will always thrive love will always stand over hate well thank you for listening to our podcast today guys and what do you think about angela levine's words yet she already knew that prince harry had already chosen to leave the uk long before he even married megan this blame game is just too much and this whatever is being displayed here is not good at all what do you think about it let me know your comments uh right below and please also remember to subscribe to our channel and thank you for the overwhelming support we appreciate it so so much and hope to see you in the next podcast. Thank you. Goodbye.